Hello, everybody out there. <clears throat> so for today's video, I'm going to try and make it short and sweet because uh, it definitely seems like uh, it's going to be too long if I don't. So uh, for today's video, I wanted to go over the topic of why you should actually hire a fitness professional. That sounds kind of a stretch. Why you should hire a coach to help you reach your fitness goal. Whether that's putting on the muscle mass, getting in shape for a triathlon, losing weight, whatever it may be, the actual reason why I would recommend it. So <clears throat> the first major reason why it's going to be so beneficial is going to have you make sure that you're accountable to someone else besides from yourself. It's really easy to say, I want to lose 20 pounds in the next two months. And the only person who knows that is yourself. And as we all know, we make a bunch of goals we never fucking follow through with. Ergo, New Year's resolutions. So a coach is going to be someone that you check in with hopefully once every week or two. If your check-in times are farther in between than every couple of weeks, then you should find a new coach because that's far too much time to go by without checking in with somebody. <clears throat> so they will definitely help keep you accountable and making sure that you're striving towards reaching your goals and making consistent progress. Number two, it's going to take a lot of the guesswork out of whatever your goal is trying to lose weight, trying to build muscle mass, trying to be a professional bodybuilder, whatever it is you want to do. Having a coach is going to help you have a fitness plan as far as like a workout plan, a diet plan, a supplement plan, fucking sleep plan. I don't know. They're going to give you a bunch of different plans. So the important thing with that is you don't have to think about what am I going to eat? How am I going to train? How much cardio am I going to do? All those things should be taken out and put to the side. <clears throat> All you have to do is actually follow the plan in front of you. So you have someone keeping you accountable. You have a plan you can actually follow. So it takes a lot of the guesswork out. The other really big important thing that I do like about working with a coach, as I've coached people before, as well as being coached myself to kind of see what their processes look like, is the fact that really working with someone is going to give you more knowledge and insight to break past plateaus and really achieve things that a lot of people are not going to be able to do by themselves. So... When I first started getting into fitness, I was trying to read things and watch videos and do everything I could <clears throat> to make progress. But there did come a point in time where I said to myself, like, hey, not only do I want to learn what this is actually, you know, this whole fitness coaching thing is about, but also I need to learn how to get past the plateau that I'm in because I'm stuck here. I want to get here. So that's just what I needed was somebody who had a little bit more knowledge than I <clears throat> to give me the plan to go past that point. So I did actually hire my own fitness coach, uh, someone who had been in like the bodybuilding industry for a long time, because that's what I wanted to do was put on lean muscle mass. So that's who I looked after or searched after, looked after, searched after, I'll say searched after. <laughs> so I definitely think that it is a great source of knowledge and a great way to break past plateaus. I know that when you're losing weight, eventually everybody, and I do mean everybody, you are going to hit a plateau where you slow down losing weight, stop losing weight, maybe even put some, put some weight back on. So definitely a great way for you to break past plateaus because you're going to have someone who has more knowledge than you, who's done it before, who's been there before, and they're definitely going to help you all push to that next level of achieving whatever your goal actually may be. Now, here's the most important thing. <clears throat> At the end of the day, a lot of people are going to tell you that they do fitness coaching or they do whatever, like just diet coach. They do, they do diet plans, workout plans whatever at the end of the day you can buy a diet plan you can buy a workout plan from somebody and that's great but you can find that shit on the internet a lot of times and usually even if you do get it from somebody it's not customized for you it's a cookie cutter program based on whatever your goal is so if you want to put on weight lose weight i don't know run a triathlon they're going to give you a generic cookie cookie cutter program they give everybody else that same goal so I would not recommend just buying a single thing, like I said, like a workout plan or a nutrition plan. You really want to get a full encompassing program. I think the other important thing too that you really should look for when you're trying to find a coach is somebody who's going to be as dedicated to you reaching your goals as you are. Because if you have somebody who's very generic or overloaded with people that they're working with, we're just not very passionate. They're not going to put a lot of individual time into you. They're not going to respond to you as quickly as you want them to. <clears throat> They also may just be making money off of you and they're doing very generic check-ins or very generic shit because they just want to make a paycheck. At the end of the day, you want someone who's going to be very involved in the process, very personable, who gets to know you, gets to know what you do outside of whatever your goal is, whether it's like I said, outside of the gym, outside of your triathlon, outside of whatever it is you want to do. You want someone who's going to get to know you, become personable with you and essentially kind of make like a friend out of the process as well. <clears throat> so... That is the one thing that I would say that I feel is going to differentiate me from anybody else out there. At the end of the day, uh, 
I love people. I want to help people. Um, I know how frustrated I was when I first started getting into fitness and how long it took me to start seeing like actual good, like quality results. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I also remember how it felt to get stuck in a plateau after putting in so much time. So I think for me, I've, I've actually worked with a handful of people now, I guess, over my, my time into fitness. And so far, no one's really been that personable. And that's one thing that I really think is lacking is that I think that you want to find someone who you actually connect with and who actually gives a shit about you as a human being, but also about you achieving your goals. And the last thing I'll tell you that I know that I provide that I think is very important is you need someone who's actually going to push you and not just let you go week by week by week, making minimal progress or no progress. <clears throat> Excuse me again. We're just stalling and wasting your time or like going backwards. So that is one thing that I can say is that I'm not going to yell at somebody or freak out, but I definitely am someone who's going to push everyone that I work with to achieve their best selves. And anything less is not something that I'm going to allow them to do. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're paying me to do a service. You're paying whoever else you choose to do a service. So at the end of the day, you should expect them to hold you to your goals and keep you accountable, which was number one. If they're not doing that, then they are not doing justice by you. So that is my quick video that took me six minutes and 30 seconds to actually do of why you should get a fitness coach and not go by yourself. And also kind of what to look for. So guys, stay healthy, stay safe. Hopefully I'll talk to you guys soon and I look forward to uh, making some more content for you guys. If this video was helpful to you, <clears throat> or you think it'd be helpful for anybody else, uh, friends, family, whatever, or if they'll just get a laugh out of it, which I don't feel like this video was too funny, but maybe they will, please share the video. As I've said a thousand times, I'm never going to ask people to like, subscribe, or follow. You can do that on your own if you want to. At the end of the day, want to help people, want the information to be shared. <clears throat> more people want more people to be knowledgeable. At the end of the day, want to help 100 million people, either in small ways or big ways, to improve their life some way, somehow. Talk to you guys soon. Again, <laughs> stay healthy, stay safe, and have a great night, guys. Bye.